Once you've hunted, carved, and trapped your way to the credits of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, there are still a lot of hunts to lead and mechanics to learn. In this video, we'll explain every aspect of Sunbreak's endgame, specifically how to get all afflicted materials efficiently, along with some tips to progress through those master ranks as fast as you can. We're looking at everything there is to know about the end of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, so this is your official spoiler warning to turn back now if you haven't hit the endgame yet and don't want to know what's coming. With that out of the way, here's Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak's Endgame Explained. Defeating the final story boss will unlock two new talisman melding methods, Anima and Reincarnation, which can create talismans up to rarity 10. Armor defense can be upgraded even further, and you'll also be able to occasionally send your Meowcenaries on special missions to earn lots of Master Rank monster parts. By Master Rank 10, you can craft Master Rank layered armor. However, in order to unlock all eight afflicted materials and the weapons they unlock, you'll need to reach Master Rank 70. And if you want all the monsters and equipment Sunbreak has to offer, you'll have to grind all the way to Master Rank 100, or have cool enough friends to carry you through those quests you need to complete. If you want to avoid being spoiled of what these endgame monsters are, and the unexpected weapon upgrades they unlock, you should skip ahead to the Afflicted material section of the video now. Still with us? Okay, here are all the endgame monsters in Sunbreak, of course not including the monsters to come with future free title updates. There are five monsters to unlock with urgent quests in the endgame. All of these monsters have Rarity 10 armor with unique armor skills as well as Rarity 10 weapons. At Master Rank 20, Wind Serpent Ibushi becomes available. Its counterpart, Thunder Serpent Narwa, will be unlocked right after at Master Rank 30. Furious Rajang, whose materials also unlock Shigaru Magala's Rarity 10 weapons, is available at Master Rank 50. Upon reaching Master Rank 70, Crimson Glow Valstrax becomes available, whose seething Crimson Liquid also unlocks Rarity 10 weapons for Camellios, Teostra, and Kushala Deora. Finally, at Master Rank 100, a new variant, Scorned Magnamalo, becomes available, whose materials also unlock Malzano's Rarity 10 weapons. Once you've reached Master Rank 10, you'll unlock your first set of anomaly quests tasking you to hunt afflicted monsters, which reward afflicted materials needed to craft most Rarity 10 weapons and many cool new decorations. Plus, Anomaly Quests also grant Outfit Voucher Plus, which are needed to craft fashionable Master Rank layered armor. New ranks of Anomaly Quests are unlocked after completing the Urgent Quests at Master Ranks 10, 20, 30, 50, and 70. There are eight afflicted materials in all, but multiple monsters drop each. Here are the afflicted monsters and what materials they drop. If they don't show up for you, fight the regular Master Rank version of each monster to unlock them. Afflicted pelts are from these monsters in one-star anomaly quests. Kulu Yaku, Great Izuchi, Great Bagi, and Great Ragi. Afflicted bone are from these monsters in one-star anomaly quests. Arzeros, Lugombi, and Volvidon. Afflicted blood are from these monsters in two-star anomaly quests. Tetranodon, Daimyo Hermitar, Kezu, and Bishitin. Afflicted monster bone are from these monsters in two-star anomaly quests. Royal Ludroth, Aknasam, Baroth, and Basarios. Afflicted Scale are from these monsters in three-star anomaly quests. Rathian, Puke Puke, Toby Kadachi, and Anjanath. Afflicted Shell are from these monsters in three-star anomaly quests. Blood Orange Bishitin, Somnicamp, Shogun Sianitar, and Juratotis. Afflicted Fang are from these monsters in four-star anomaly quests. Nargakuga, Baryoth, Garangolm, and Magnamalo. Afflicted Claw are from these monsters in four-star anomaly quests. Gosharag, Rakna Kadaki, Aurora Somnicanth, and Almudron. You'll likely need quite a few of these afflicted materials if you want to upgrade your weapons to Rarity 10 or craft some of the more powerful decorations, so keep these tips in mind to take afflicted monsters down effectively and get the most afflicted materials. You're guaranteed to get at least one afflicted material as a quest bonus reward, but can get upwards of three. Carving a monster may also grant an afflicted material. And lastly, there's a chance to get afflicted materials as broken part rewards, so make sure to break as many parts as you can during a hunt. The skill Partbreaker would help with this, of course. 
Afflicted monsters inflict Blood Blight, which, if you remember from your battle with Malzano, decreases healing but also grants you lifesteal. When an afflicted monster enters a delirious state, glowing red spots called anomaly cores appear on its body. Attacking these causes them to explode and cause major damage, which is handy, since if you do enough damage in a set amount of time, the monster will be knocked down and become pacified for a short time. Conversely, if you don't deal enough damage in a fixed period, the afflicted monster will unleash a powerful area attack called an anomaly burst. This explosion is unleashed with very little warning and automatically stuns if it hits you, so consider running max stun resistance if you find it difficult to avoid. Besides those effects, afflicted monsters are pretty much just hyper-aggressive, tankier versions of their master rank selves. Though they can't be captured to complete the quest, you can still use traps on them to stop them for a few moments. These anomaly quests are a good choice to keep increasing your master rank if you want to stock up on afflicted materials. But any master rank quest will progress your rank, so take the opportunity to do side quests or follower quests that unlock new dongo, weapons, or armor. But if you're looking to just level up fast, know that the amount of Zenny awarded seems to coincide with the experience earned. We found that the optional 6-star quest, Unbridled Mayhem, which is unlocked at Master Rank 30, is amongst the most efficient. Any Endurance quest with multiple monsters is a good choice, but Unbridled Mayhem is in the arena, so you won't have to chase monsters between zones or collect Spirit Birds. The best way to complete this quest fast is with a trusty crew of friends. But we successfully completed this more often than not with random hunters by using the quest board to join a quest in progress, or by sending a join request when starting our own hunt. With these tips, we hope you'll be able to capture the most out of Sunbreak's endgame before the next title update. For more on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, check our guide on how to beat Malzano or our super cool written guide. For everything else, keep it here at IGN.